Hey, this is Joe Hubbard and welcome to Advanced Bass. In today's lesson, I'm going to be covering the subject of rhythmically displacing your walking bass lines. So with that said, grab your bass and let's get started. Rhythmic displacement is based on having the ability to hear and perform rhythmic patterns starting on different places within the underlying pulse of the music. To understand this, we must know what the rhythmic subdivisions are regarding the style of music that we're playing. In jazz, the rhythmic subdivision is based on the triplet. The triplet evenly divides the beat into three equal parts, so developing this awareness is the first step to understanding the rhythmic displacement principle. When we play walking bass lines, we're playing quarter notes throughout, emphasizing the underlying pulse. The drummer is also marking the pulse on his ride cymbal. By starting our walking bass line on the third triplet displaces where the pulse appears to be. In this next example, I'm going to play one chorus of a walking bass line which is on the beat, followed by a chorus of walking bass lines starting on the last triplet. <laughs> As you can hear, this concept can prove to be an effective tension and release moment, giving you that inside, outside, inside effect that I've talked about in many other videos. A great tip to make your walking bass line sound better is to make sure that you're holding the notes to their full value. If you aren't aware of that, when you start to displace your lines on that third triplet, you might find that you're articulating the notes much shorter. By doing that, you'll lose the characteristic feel of your walking bass lines once they're displaced. In the beginning, it's a good idea to have an external reference point such as a metronome to be able to hear where the underlying pulse is as you switch between playing straight and displaced walking bass lines. After you learn to feel this concept, you can then rely on your own internal clock. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is play this groove along with a metronome so you can hear how it falls on the beat when you play the straight groove and where it's off the beat when you play the anticipated groove into the third triplet. Make sure when practicing this concept that you apply it over a song form rather than just a repetitive pulse. The main objective when using this principle is not to use it all the time but to create tension over a tune you're playing on which raises the intensity level leading you to an eventual resolution. Beyond the concepts and ideas in these lessons, there are of course so many more in-depth aspects of improvising and playing music that can only be learned properly with a course that addresses your long-term goals. 
I offer several different learning options which meets this criteria, such as my two-year university-level base mastery course available at joehubbardbasevideos.com. I also have a catalog of books available both in downloadable or printed formats that you can get directly from joehubbardbase.com along with information about my Skype lessons or my email correspondence course. Remember to always start with the end goal in mind and then learn to concentrate on the process of practicing. There's always more progress to be made. That's a prerequisite in becoming a good musician. Until next time, practice smart, work hard, and play creatively. Okay.